In this episode, we will be looking at an independent RPG that has its roots firmly dug into one of my favorite games of the 80s and 90s. So, stick around! and Dorkettes and welcome to It Came From My Side of the Laundry Room. My name's Rob and in this episode we will be taking a look at the independent RPG Mutants of the Now released by JK Games. Now this game's tagline is that it is a retro modern mutant animal role-playing game and if you know me you know that is what I'm all about and Honestly, I had never heard about this game, and I feel horrible about it. But, fortunately, I was given the knowledge by the actual writer and creator of the game himself. He sent me an email saying that he saw some of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and other strangeness videos, and he actually based the groundwork of this game on that classic, awesome 80s and 90s Palladium role-playing game. Now, I have said in the past that TMNT and Other Strangeness is by far my favorite role-playing game of all time. So, I am really excited to jump in and take a look at the digital copy that he sent my way to peruse and review. Okay, a couple things before we get started. One, since this is YouTube and I need to be completely transparent, yes, I was given a copy of this game digitally to review from the actual publisher slash writer slash creator themselves. Number two, you can find all the details on where you can find this game, where you can download it, or even pick up a physical copy will be in the details below. And number three, something I am very excited about. And that is JK Games will be releasing the first supplement to Mutants of the Now called Mutants of the Next. And that will be hitting Kickstarter on May 10th and go until June 10th. And from what I've read about the original Kickstarter for Mutants of the Now, I don't think they'll have any issues in coming up with the money to produce this book. The original Kickstarter got over 200% of their goal and has been such a success that even the physical copy is in its second printing now. And again, you can find that Kickstarter information in the description below. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this book. And like I said, I am so excited. I went into this completely blind because I wanted to be surprised. So, yeah, I'm excited. Let's get to it. Okay, folks, here we go. And this is my first time doing a digital book, so hopefully this goes off well. And I'm hoping it'll at least look better because it won't be a camera pointed at it. We're actually looking at the direct files. So what we're looking at here is the cover, which I have to say, the artwork, I am so happy with that. That looks great. That takes me back instantly to the other Strangeness books by Palladium. I mean, oh, I'm so excited just by that cover alone. And here we go. Julian Kay, who is the individual that emailed me, we see right, written by him, art by Fabio Fontes, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and editing by Elijah Oates. This is the revised edition. So... We have all the deets here and also the website, JK Games, where you can pick up the character sheets, combat references, and other things. Pretty cool. So, let me see how to navigate this. Instead of just... There we go. Next. We got table of contents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need that stuff. We got the... What is this? Ooh, this looks like in-game story, maybe? Unfortunately, the screen that I'm looking at is super tiny, so I may have to enlarge things to look at it. But, to keep our runtime down a little bit, we will jump over this part and just try to look at the meat and potatoes of this game. 
Oh, there's that dude from the cover. That looks great. It's a panda guy. Looks like he has a cigar, a trash can, like samurai hat. That is great. How to role play. The choice is yours. Safety in you. Wow, that takes me back. The setting. Let us... Okay, here we go. In the 80s and 90s, mutant animals ruled role-playing, where whether they were stopping mysterious muggings, thwarting their twisted creators, or venturing across time and space. Hundreds of thousands of role-players played out their adventures. Then they went away. Yes, very sadly. Perhaps they went to the future. Maybe their creators abandoned them, or it could be that they needed a break. But now they're back and ready to kick butt. Dude, that sounds awesome. So let me do a close-up here of the setting. And it says, The world with mutant resembles our own at the surface level. Everybody lives their normal lives doing normal things, dealing with the normal drama of modern existence. But under it all, there's a bubbling cauldron of weirdness. Dude, you got me. Unknown to most, mysterious forces have unleashed the neon blue luminescent substance known as goop on the world. Animals that come into contact change swiftly, often mutating into humanoid forms, but sometimes displaying wild and evolution-defining mutations. Genetic mutations has increased faster than our own as a result. Genetically modified pets are exotic and expensive, but not unknown. Incorporations meddle with life to find the next profitable venture. Or avenue, sorry. Psychic powers have existed on the fringe of humanity's awareness, and only a few organizations have managed to prove their existence. But the number of physically gifted, I'm sorry, psychically gifted, is accelerating, chiefly due to mutation. Meanwhile, powerful factions panic scrambling to learn the secret of the goop and trying to find ways to recruit or control mutants. Companies aim to unlock the potential of the glowing liquid. Criminal organizations seek the unique talents of chimeras to aid their schemes. And even beings from other worlds recognize an, a certain novelty in the sudden earthly uplift. And mutant animals find themselves caught between it all. Can they carve a place in the world, or will the powerful and ambitious subjugate them in their struggle for dominance? I am... Whew, I'm feeling very nostalgic at this moment, and I am super psyched. I think we'll keep it at this ratio for now. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What, are, what happened here? Okay, here is a glossary of terms. Bounce down again. So, that will be good and come in handy. Character creation. Oh my god, look at that progression scale. That takes me back to the one in Other Strangeness. Oh my god, that is great. But it's a cat girl. That is awesome. So it'd be none, partial, full. So step by step, the big picture of character creation, getting together, cursing your dice, that's true. You're good at your origin story, let's mutate, how you fight, getting good, get stuff, wrapping up. Getting together. Cursing your dice. Okay. Ooh, take backs. Spend one take back, two. Spend two take backs. Ooh, can't wait to read about those later. You're good at. So the stats will be cognition, determination. Affinity, Perception, Strength, Prowess, Endurance, and Speed. 
So we have an attribute chart, secondary attributes. Let me do a close up on that. Initiative, defense, morale, hit points, superficial hardness threshold. Very nice. Or I'm sorry, superficial harm threshold, willpower, contacts, lifting power, move rate. Nice. Your origin story. So we got backgrounds. We got chemical leak, transportation accident, experimental, experimentation rebuilt. City background, self-taught survivor, raised by a human, raised by a mutant, raised by a mutant community, adopted by an institution, fled to the wild, swallowed by the shadows. Dude, oh my god! Like I said, nostalgia. And I don't want to get hung up on all this because it's a pretty good sized book and I want to try to hit all the high points without this video being three hours long. So... We have city species, rural species, institutional specieses. Here we got institutional backgrounds. Oh my gosh. I can tell you right now, without a shadow of doubt, that I will be buying the physical copy of this book. And giving to the Kickstarter. Oh, the animal list. Oh my goodness, this takes me back. We'll just look at a couple high points here, like the urban species. We have bats, cats, cockroach, awesome, coyotes, deers, dogs, all the way down to turtle. We got pet species. Oh, an axolotl, rabbits, hedgehog, hamster, a duck, goat. So your farm type pets. Wild species: alligator, armadillo, badger, bat, bear. Bison, boar, octopus, oh, like in the Roadhog's book, walrus, wolverine, zoo species, alligator, axolotl, bear, capybaras, cheetah, chimpanzee, dolphin, elephant, giraffe. And then we have lab species, dogs, cats, chimpanzee, guinea pigs, possum. Then Gen Mod Species, Blue Chinchilla, Flying Pig, awesome. Oops, I got, went back too far. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Way too far. Forgive me. Like I said, I'm new at this digital thing. Here we have Height, Weight. A life before mutation charts, mutation peers charts, how I learned to fight charts. Okay, let's mutate. Got size ratings, goop, the amount of goop your species adds to your existing total from attributes. So like the BioE. Major traits, minor traits, unique traits. Ah, sonic traits, animal traits. Ah, oh, here we go. The little stat blocks for the animals themselves. Awesome. So let's look at one of these randomly. <clears throat> the bobcat. Let me do a close-up on the bobcat. So the smallest of the lynx, named for its bob the tail. So we have the size rating of 7. So it's a plus 31 goop. Enhanced perception, prowess, and speed. Basic traits. Uh, I can't read that. Feline, carnivore. Major traits. Enhanced smell. Night vision. Rake of the claws. Swift. Sprint. Minor trait. Claws. Enhanced hearing. Fall writing. Rot digestion. Teeth and whiskers. Ambitious hunter. For five goop. 
When you use a natural weapon or try to strike or grab a foe of greater size with a melee weapon, add an additional weapon damage die. Dude, that sounds awesome. Well worth five goop. Oh, let me shrink it down again. Let me shrink it down again because these are all going to be the awesome stat blocks for animals. Wow. Octopus. Let's take a look at the octopus real quick. So common octopus. Size rating 6. There's a 36 goop. Has cognition, determination, and endurance. Basic traits of cephalopod, carnivore, movement, octopedal, respiration, water breathing, senses, death, zoomorphic tentacles. Then the major traits, adaptable, adhesive, breath storage, chameleon, regeneration, slippery, swift, sprint, swimmer, venom. Awesome. Minor traits. Aqua location, aquatic site, beak, bed treader, compress, flexible, saltwater tolerance, suction cups. And for two goop, I think that says two goop, problem solver. When you fail a roll, you have plus D on, you can spend one will to re roll. Very cool. Wow. I am smitten, for lack of better term. I know I've talked about getting my kids into D&D, but I might have to also add this to the table. And it's newer, I mean, hipper than the Turtles book. I mean, they don't really know anything about the Turtles, so this would be fresh and new and hopefully grab their attention. Here we got classification trait types. Oh, okay, these are the animal classifications like bovine and stuff, cephalopod. Cool. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Flying pig, that's awesome. Uh, classification traits form, fins, hexopedal, octopedal, uh, what's that say, mithrapedal, species with over eight limbs, winged, attribute enhancements, <clears throat> size rating, oh wow. Movement, anthropomorphic traits, basic, diet, movement, prehensility, mask, speech, bionics. Ooh. Uh, trait, rare traits, respiration, senses, zoomorphic traits. Wow. Well thought out. I mean, it takes the groundwork by the other strangeness books and just, I think, adds so much more to it. This is the kind of stuff that me and my friends, when we would play TMNT and other strangeness, we would read nature books and it's like, wait a minute, this animal can do this stuff, so let's jot some notes and spend some BioE and add this to the package that they didn't add. And it looks like, yeah, a lot of work has gone into this, and I'm super impressed and just super excited. Wow, I am super excited to sit down and read this in detail and start making some characters just for fun. Animal traits, these are the major traits.
Here's the minor traits. I think I'm messing up again, so forgive me. Venom, beak, aquatic scent. The centipede dilemma. You've piqued my interest. What is that? There are a few traits, let's go over here, that currently have no species, like words I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Parasitivore, or references to traits like hive or stinger that are not in this book. These are included large these are included largely for compatibility with potential species and material there wasn't room for in this book and are not in error. Maybe they'll be in Mutants of the Next. Oh my god. I'm definitely ordering both books. Like I said, the Kickstarter for Mutants of the Next starts May 10th to June 10th. And if you are into this kind of stuff like I am, you definitely need to act on it. And I definitely will be. Here's all the psychic powers, or psionic powers, sorry. Let me do a close-up on this so I can get a feel on here. Biokinetic soothing. Precognitive warning. Psychic shield. Telekinetic boost. Tele... Tele... That... <clears throat> yeah. Whew, forgive me, it's late at night. So, telekinetic manipulation. There we go. I finally got it out. So, just a little uh, snippet on that. Here we got how to fight all oh, the different martial arts. Oh, man. <laughs> Jailhouse Rock. Pack Predator. Tricking. Wow. Muay Thai. Pursuit Predator. And then skill packages. We have basic, military, professional, science, street, wild, covert. And here we got the stack stat blocks on those different uh, skills in those packages. Wow. Naval, social science, thief, weapons, traversal, spy. Skills from scratch. Select skill hobbies. Always had fun with that, especially in the TMNT and other strangeness, because like looking at the actual turtles' character sheets and their hobbies and stuff was really fun. Ooh, weapon proficiencies. Yeah. Skill percentages. Here's all the skill lists and what stats they use to get them. Wow. I, I have to say, nothing like this has filled me with so much nostalgia, but also like this excitement of learning something new at the same time. It's such a cool feeling. Here's, we got equipment packages. Wealth chart, weapons. There we got laser pistol and rifle. Now you're talking. Wrapping up. Contacts, it says values. Each character selects three values that represent what they're willing to fight or struggle for. Each value should be abstract. These are general attributes, not specific goals or ideas. Very cool. Secondary attributes, role-playing hooks. Final reminders. Did you spend all your goop? Did you mark down your prime modifiers? 
Did you mark down your skill rating for each skill? Very important things. Random contact tables. We got genders. All non binary. That's cool to add that. Here we got names. Wow. Dude, take it to the next step. Urban professions, rural professions, institutional professions. Wow, reason for assistance. General rules. Wow, is this like a musk ox? Is that like a black-footed ferret or something on his back? That's cool. Wow, that's great. I love the artwork. We've got general rules. Rolling, success and failure, untrained rolls, determination, perks and costs, healing, will recovery, table of outcomes. <clears throat> what kind of stuff is on that? Again, this is still super tiny for me, so please forgive me for any mess-ups. Test success failure. If the tens digit is odd, the action is accom accompanied by an unusual cry of success. A dramatic flourish or pose accompanies the action success. That's cool. If the tens digit is even, the action is encouraged by an ally or bystander and is urged on to success. If this tens digit is odd on the failure, a character just isn't motivated enough, failing the task. If the tens digit is even, the character is struck by a key moment of doubt, causing failure. Pretty cool. Wow. Oh my god. Is that a gar? With a metal detector? So, dramatic rules, challenges, synergy, values, teamwork, conversations, languages, okay, information, mysteries, contact, size, perils, vehicles, over 100%. Every time I'm thinking this book is over, more awesome stuff just comes our way. It looks like I'm having a computer issue at the moment. There we go. Fighting rules? Oh, look at the octopus! Oh, and it's one of those, like, uh, vampire cuttlefish or whatever with the little ears. So we got everything that's pretty typical to a game. Rounds and turns, initiative, action and inaction, escalation, action, reaction, ceasefire, escape, defense, morale. Here we got melee and range, damage, resistance. Wow. Defeat and death, saving throws, sizes, hazards, toxins, Move action, maneuver actions, focus, moments, improvision, improvisation, I should say, statuses, states. So we got like aiming, grabbing, low ammo, swallowed. Here we got injuries, weapons. Weapon size, armor, thrown weapon, improvised weapons. Ooh. Ooh. Damage for weapons. So, like a hand axe is 1d12. <clears throat> but a long staff, 1d10. Sword, a doling sword, 1d10. 
Wow. Ranged weapons. Let's see, they got the laser stuff on here. Laser pistol. That's 66. Wow. Laser rifle 68. Ooh, nice. Here we got the armors. Whoops. We got bulletproof vest, leather, metal, ninja armor, riot suit, shield. Here we got the psionic rules. Look at that picture. Looks like a like a Persian cat or something. Wow. Campaign rules. Awesome snake. So experience points. An experience chart. Leveling process milestones. Advancing money and equipment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoa, what is all this? Ah, the ranks of the hand-to-hand -hand combats. Game mastering notes, non-player characters. Got prejudice, modern uh, vigilantism. Unnamed do, 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 bosses, linchpins, balancing fights, allies and antagonists, Prometheus Inc. Oh, that was that letter at the beginning of the book. Different characters. <clears throat> oh, here we go. The bad boys. Oh, it's like the dog boys. Nice. Atana, Ryu. Ooh, ninjas. Awesome looking ninjas at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. It Shadow Dancer, Ganin, Kuru, Toko Suit. Look at these. No, no, no. Is that like a cockroach? And here's like a gerbil in a mech. Now you are talking. Secret of the goop. Special thanks. Backer lists. Nice. all over again. Oh, the back of the book. Wow! That is... Oh my god. I am beside myself at how awesome this is. And I want to take this moment to thank JK Games for sending me this copy to peruse and review. But... I don't even have to review it. It's awesome. And I cannot wait to order my physical copy and sit down and read it all. And yes, I'm an old fuddy-duddy that enjoys physical copies because reading screens just kind of mess up my eyes. But yeah, this was a great way for us to get a crash course in what this game is about. And it is a total throwback to such a great time in the role-playing landscape of the 80s and 90s when TMNT and Other Strangeness was out there. And I'm excited to dive back into that world with my kids, hopefully. If not, I'll just have fun making up characters and creating a world just for fun. But, yeah. So, before we leave, let me say again that the Kickstarter for Mutants of the Next will be running from May 2nd to June 2nd. And if you liked 
this crash course and quick look at this book or are a fan of mutant animals or the TMNT and other strangeness games or are just interested in a different type of game than what you're playing, I would definitely say jump on there, back the project, and you will not be sorry. So again, thank you to JK Games for passing this along to me, and yeah, you, you have made a fan of me, and I will support you every step of the way. This is, this is awesome. Very impressive, and again, like I said, I don't think I've ever had a feeling of deep nostalgia that just aches my soul, but at the same time, I'm excited to try something new. I mean, new and nostalgia don't usually mix very well, but this looks like a perfect mixture for me and probably for a lot of you out there. So, yeah, so, so happy this has come into my life. So, thank you for letting me know about it and, yeah, opening my eyes to this awesomeness. So anyway, let me just add real quick, the Kickstarter is only a tip of the iceberg. Jump on to the other uh, sites or purchasing locations that I have put in the details, or I'm sorry, the description of the video below. And yeah, get yourself a copy either digitally or physically. And yeah, be as happy as a pig and slop like I will be. Uh, just taking in all this new yet nostalgic information. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And if you enjoyed this episode or any of the TMNT and other strangeness episodes that I'm recommending to you, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So anyway, until next time, Thanks for watching. Keep being rad and stay dorky.